Good afternoon, my beautiful Scorpios. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Scorpios? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling, Scorpios. I think if anyone is thriving right now, I think it's you guys. Uh, there's a lot of emotions, uh, really, really strong emotional energy, but I think Scorpios, I think you guys are handling it like a boss. Uh, a lot of you are feeling you're in your power and strength. Um, I don't think you're going to be caught off guard like, uh, a lot of the other signs. Um, I feel like you're, you're in your element. <laughs> okay. There are no wrong turns. 27. Yeah, I think, uh, Scorpios, you guys are handling this, um, pretty good. Uh, it's almost, <laughs> Scorpios, it's like you could be on this path and you, people could think you're like going all over the fucking place, but you're actually like navigating it the way it is. Um, uh, it's, it's almost like a paraglider energy, right? You're just wafting through it and just, you you just going where you need to go, going where the energy takes you. It's like, you know how to, uh, uh, you know how to wring the most out of it to get the most benefit. Does that make any sense, Scorpios? 27 goes to 9. Uh, endings energy. Uh, it's it, it's like you're... Uh, how do I want to put it? You're just you're just going through. No matter what the, the wind conditions are, no matter what's coming at you, you're able to navigate it. You're like a paraglider up there doing your thing. Uh, and, and very graceful. You're looking very crazy. Now, you might be all over the fucking place, so that's... That's how people are going to see you as being, but you're just, you're, you're really following the path of least resistance. I think, uh, unlike most signs, you're able, you're, you're able to use this and, and go with it. And you're just kind of like, it's almost like a roller coaster ride too. You're just kind of enjoying it. Uh, if that makes any sense, Scorpios, <laughs> right? You're just, you're like, okay, I like a good roller coaster. Especially on the emotional side of things, you 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 got this. You got it's like you got the you got the upper hand on this, Scorpios. That's how I'm feeling. What do you have for my Scorpio collective? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful Scorpio collective. And the Scorpio, as I said that, we pulled out the devil in reverse and the three of wands. Yeah, you're you're navigating the, the emotions, right? You're pulling away from that toxicity. <laughs> you know where you're going to end. You know, It's like that paraglider energy. We all know the three of wands. There's a... Usually a ship out there, they're waiting for uh, the ship to come in, right? Only you're just paragliding that, right? That sail energy. That sail energy. You're just going with it and letting it take you where it needs to take you to do what you need to do. And you're, you're enjoying it. It's like a roller coaster, but, you know, you're like, I got this. This is fun, right? But it's part of that healing process, Scorpio. It's absolutely fucking beautiful. I'm wanting to say you could force someone to ride a roller coaster, but you can't force them to like it, right? Some people do, some people don't. Uh, some people get the thrill from it, other people get the shit scared out of them, right? <laughs> the, the, the devil energy here, right? <laughs> but it's a positive, right? You gotta face, you gotta, everyone's gotta deal with their, their, their dark side, okay? Everyone's got that. And the devil energy is just that. Whatever you do that isn't to your higher good, that you know you need to work on, right? This could be people around you. This could be things you need to work on, uh, you know, bettering yourself. Maybe it's exercising more, drinking more water. Maybe it's, you know, cutting out healthy uh, or unhealthy habits. Maybe you're eating better. But you're able to kind of navigate it and see it for what it is, right? You don't fear the devil because you know how the devil operates, so you're able to navigate around. You know what I mean? And this is very important to do, and not everybody can do it because a lot of people just see that and get scared. But Scorpio, when you're able to just kind of dive in there and be like, I ain't afraid of you, devil. I know how you operate. I know what you're all about, so I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get shackled up to, to your bullshit, okay? It's navigating that. 
And y'all, that is a gift. Not everyone gets. But you know, Scorpio, you're the death card, right? So you're, you see that it keeps wanting to show up. But uh, that's why that road um, seems so chaotic to other people. Because people don't understand. When you're on that journey and you're you're dealing with your shadow energy, your shadow self, it can be a little loop-to-loop -loop fucking crazy. It can be a little loop-to-loop -loop fucking crazy. It's not just one straight path and you can just pull off on the side of the road and deal with it nicely, right? You can be all over the fucking place. But you got to do that because you're going to find the other little things, how everything kind of works in conjunction. You know, you might want to cut out one big thing, but in order to do that, you got to deal with the other smaller things. You know, it's like quitting smoking. You want to quit smoking, you know, you might be able to, but it's usually the habit of, of doing that. That you have to break too, right? Sometimes it's the motions. It's it's everything that's attached to that 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 sort of negative uh, energy or negative thing that you wish to change. You know, if you keep choosing toxic partners, you got to kind of go down the line and figure out, okay, why? What do they all have in common, and why do I always go back there? What is? Uh, it's kind of like what's the through line? What is the one thing that stays consistent about all of it? even though they're individual people. So that way you can deal with what the main problem is, right? Because it's usually one one thing in particular that kind of sets that in motion, right? You make the one wrong decision to get involved with somebody or get involved with something, and then that kind of leads on to everything else, which creates, um, I'm going to say a codependency type energy. So maybe that's what some of you are working on, understanding... Uh, even if it is a codependency to toxic people, places, and things, right? Uh, figuring out why you you tend to end up in the situations you do because you choose the same individuals. Or the storyline might start out different, but it always ends up the same. Because of uh, just toxic traits, uh, things that don't work out the way you want them to. You know, you could start out with good intentions, but it always turns to shit. Why? And it's that roller coaster ride. You know, the healing process isn't a straight fucking line where you just kind of veer off and sit down and park and get out and, you know, deal with it and then get on the journey again. Now, yeah, that's going to be all over the fucking place. Most definitely. Scorpios, this is beautiful. Beautiful so far. And we're only seven minutes into this bitch. What you got from my Scorpios? The, the tower in reverse, <laughs> right? Learning to avoid the tower. That is the greatest gift you can learn. That is understanding the red flags. That is spotting the red flags. That is spotting any toxic traits and knowing to stay the fuck away from them, right? But first, you got to take the time to figure out why in order to avoid the tower. Yeah, you, the strength in reverse. What's your weakness? When it comes to making choices, what's your weakness? Especially if you're dealing with relationships, right? The moon here in reverse. This is understanding why you choose the people that you choose. Or why certain people are attracted to you. Why you get into uh, relationships or situations that you know end up never working out. There's usually a common thread. There's some choice that's being made. Uh, at the beginning, that leads to the outcome that isn't very good. And I seen 838 when I said that. So 838 could mean something to you. Yeah. That's beautiful. Maybe some of you are doing the interpersonal relationship thing, right? You're you're taking the time to focus. Maybe some of y'all are moving away from uh, people. And you're finally saying what the fuck, right? Or for some of you, it's a toxic energy you're trying to get away from and you're trying to, you know, kind of cut them ties, cut them cords, get out of that mindset, whatever you need to do, however the hell it shows up in your life, Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, you've had a, you've been carrying this same problem for a while. So maybe some of y'all are finally now deciding to, to go in deeper and figure out. You're wrapping up those toxic cycles. Maybe you're coming out of a relationship. Maybe it was a little bit long term that, you know, was was burdened for probably longer than what it was good. And you're like, why the hell did I waste that much time and energy in a partnership that I knew was was bullshit, right? That moon in reverse, you knew this relationship was shit the whole fucking time, but you stayed put. You carried the burden. Some of y'all, seven years Seven months, seven weeks, you know, you, however the hell, you're like, why? 
do I stay in those instead of getting the fuck out? Why would I carry the burden of a situation relationship that I knew was shit to begin with? It's that healing, but you all going to navigate this in such a fucking way. That justice is in reverse because a lot of you, this is going to be that topsy-turvy fucking ride. Right? Justice is going to balance out, but you know, there is so much other shit. You all see that little loop to loop there, right? There is so much shit going on that even the justice is like, okay, you, you we got to let this ride in before we can kind of balance shit out, right? You got to kind of ride and navigate the wind and, and figure out everything and do the long journey. It's like you, there's no shortcut to this. That's why it's all over the fucking place. And there are no wrong turns because, you know, they're going to be and, and you got to go wherever you got to go. And then balance will be brought in. That's absolutely beautiful, Scorpios. Work, love, life on that. For a lot of you, though, I do feel, Scorpios, it is in love. Ace of Wands in reverse, Five of Pentacles in the upright, Page of Cups in reverse, sitting your ass down, right? Some of you get just, just, just sitting your ass down and enjoying the ride, just, just going with the flow, right? No action needed right now, no action needed, and Spirit's going to be blocking a lot of that, right? You just got to go with the flow. You're like, picture like a paraglider up there, you're just, you're just going with the flow, you're going with the wind, you know, you just can't stop. Uh, when you're up there floating in a paraglider, you're just not going to be able to stop on a dime and do what you need to do. You just got to flow with it. That out in the cold energy, that's just releasing from that devil. You know, we had the devil show up. That's just releasing from that toxic uh, energy that's just holding on, I think, for a lot of you. Uh, that, that isn't going away. Um, I'm thinking more in, in kind of the spiritual sense in the fact that um, it could have something to do with the belief system, with, with what you got going on. And, you know, no love, no new love opportunities right now. You're not really looking. You're not really open. Um, it's just you're you're still up there paragliding. You're like enjoying this little roller coaster ride. And, you know, not everybody is going to enjoy it. So you're just taking that little journey on your own. Right. If you show up the park at, at the park with your friends, you know, you're the only one that's really going to enjoy that, that fucking loop-de-loop -loop they got going on and all them little hairpin turns and the G-force that's being inflicted. You know you're the only one that's going to appreciate it and enjoy it. So you don't want to deal with anybody else sitting beside you that's going to be screaming their head off and, you know, all scared. You're like, uh, I got this. You're just doing that paragliding. You're just enjoying your shit, okay? Queen of Swords in reverse. The Empress, and, yeah, definitely so, a lot of you with a partnership. Del, de, could be dealing with a lion bitch. Work, love, life on this, whatever the hell it is. And this could be the energy that you're uh, removing yourself from, Scorpio. Right? This could be mama, baby, mama, auntie, uncle, uh, grandma, whatever the fuck you've got going on. You're you're pulling yourself from this energy, and it's, it's, it's going to take a minute. Mm. King of Pentacles, yeah. This is to get your footing and get your grounding back. That king of is that loop to loop energy, that king of pentacles. You're not afraid of loop to loops. King of pentacles is a very stable energy, right? Usually uh, daddy, uh, husband material, very stable. Uh, can be a little, you know, how do you want to put it? It's like... Uh, <laughs> How do you want to put it? Could can seem to be a little like like an accountant type energy, someone that's a little dull, a little you know reserved. But you know you really you really like them loop the loops, okay? You don't mind things getting kind of mixed up and mixed around, but you can still keep your stability, right? You're understanding the forces involved in that loop the loop energy. Uh, you don't mind it every now and then. It doesn't rock your stability when when you have to take them journeys and you, you know, you can go and glide and just go through everything. You're still going to keep your stability, um, especially if you're dealing with uh, a toxic negative energy. Now, we had the Empress show up, so some of y'all could have been in a situation for a while, maybe following someone, listening to someone that wasn't to your higher good and you've known this. But, you know, now you're going to be able to bring balance in. You're not afraid of them loop-to-loops. I definitely feel there's, there's a release. You're going to be moving away from a situation. Because some of y'all are definitely dealing with a manipulative energy. Uh, someone that was very deceitful. That did a lot of shit behind your back. 
a lot of lies, just not a very nice, kind person, even though they should have been in the position in which they were in your life, but they weren't, right? And for some of you, that's why it's going to be hard to kind of sever that tie. That's why it's been that kind of emotional roller coaster, especially if there is any codependency involved, right? If there is some codependency involved here, uh, that's going to be a little harder for you to break. But you're going to come out ahead with that King of Pentacles energy. Because you like the stability. Your stability is going to be there. But boy, you love them loop-de-loops too, right? It's like the science behind it. You like the G-force. You, you understand it. So where most people get scared, that, that's kind of your rush. But it's, it's not taking any unhealthy risk, right? You're able to navigate it. Y'all make me want to go ride a roller coaster now, <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> Yeah, Knight of Cups in reverse here, Temperance in reverse. You could have put, um, it's like your emotions on the back burner here. Honestly, I was going to say love, but I don't think it's love. Your emotions are, are kind of off balance, but it kind of has to be that way. But you're still, you're able to navigate this energy, probably a little more than most. Um, you know, uh... Two of Cups at the Three of Cups, especially when it comes to dealing with people. Uh, you're riding that emotional roller coaster, right? You're up there paragliding. You're just going with the flow. You're understanding. Because you have to do that before you can bring your own healing and balance into a situation. You have to kind of to go through that and, you know, mix them cups up. Maybe drop some of that emotional baggage you've been carrying in order for you to bring it to the upright. To get the healing that you need to move on. This is really a, a lot of self-awareness at play here, Scorpio. The, far more than maybe most signs. Understanding that emotional uh, ability. Understanding that sometimes it's okay to dump that fucking cup out and start all over again. Sometimes that temperance is good. you got to get rid of that tainted water, right? In order to, to fill it full of fresh, new, uh, kind, loving, gentle energy you know what i mean maybe you found a different stream to drink from to get your emotional uh fulfillment it's not always negative because you have to know when to when to empty them cups and, and get some fresh water especially if that shit's been sitting there a while right y'all let's just see what wants to pop for you scorpios I think you're good. High Priestess in reverse. There are some positives coming in, but you're not seeing it. Some of you aren't. If you're navigating and you're doing just fine, there's there's some... Uh, I'm feeling positive with that. High Priestess in reverse. It is um, understanding the negatives, but through that comes the positive. What else is this High Priestess? Five of Swords here with the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Um... You're going to come out ahead of this. That Five of Swords is you navigating the situation and doing what you need to do. You know, the Five of Swords depicts one person running out at the cost of two others, right? But that actually brings balance into your situation. And we end up back here at this Three of Wands. You're still waiting to land. Yeah, you're still up there paragliding. You're enjoying the ride, right? You're still on that roller coaster. Uh, you know, for some of you, this is someone waiting for you to, to get done, to come in. And some of you might not realize that. Someone has been uh, watching you up there paragliding. And they're like, damn, who is that? That You know, you got, you could meet your perfect match. Because someone is, is watching. Someone could be watching you up there paragliding. Watching how much you enjoy that roller coaster. That high priestess energy, I'm not feeling as being a negative. It's, it's, the, it's the, the good that's coming in by doing the, uh, uh, the work. Ace of Swords in reverse. Death in reverse. With the Three of Cups. And the Knight of Swords... Ten of Pentacles. You know, I mentioned when we had the Temperance there and that Knight of Cups, um, some of y'all are definitely really getting ready to drop somebody. And they might not know it. Maybe you haven't quite realized you're going to drop this person. But that Ace of Swords in reverse, that Death card, I think you've been keeping someone around or people around that you know you need to let the fuck go of. Uh, for whatever reason, you've kept them around. Um... Maybe it's because it's friends and family. I don't know your situation. You all do. But you're going to... And some of you, it could be work, family related. So, you know, friend, family, lover on this. It could go anyway. 
Uh, you're going to you're gonna be able to walk away from that situation. The Ten of Pentacles, you're going to walk away from that situation, take what the hell is yours, and be fine. You're going to be fine. And we got the Ten of Wands here, but I don't think that burden's going to be on you. Uh -uh. The burden's going to be on whoever the fuck you left behind, because you're not giving it any attention anymore. So no reconciliation energy on this. If you've had to pull yourself, pull your energy from somebody... I don't think you're going to go back into it, Scorpios. Uh, you realize that's just a burdensome situation. And maybe as you leave, someone else has to take on the burden because you're not around. Uh, you could have had a very codependent situation, Scorpio. And someone was just so fucking dependent upon you. And uh, maybe you didn't realize just how toxic it was. That high priestess in reverse. It could definitely be an ending. But, uh, you know, endings lead to new beginnings, new opportunities. So not every ending is sad. Not every ending, you know, uh, are you going to mourn. Some of them, they just are what the fuck they are. That's some beautiful energy, Scorpio. Keep doing what you're doing. You got this. Enjoy that roller coaster. The pa I'm really getting like a paraglider up there. And you got like the little uh, fan in the back, so you can just keep going. You can just get on there and do whatever the hell you want to do. You're enjoying it. You're enjoying it, Scorpios. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring -a -ring -a -ring. I did notice uh, 2122 on the timer there. Peace, love, and light, Scorpios. Enjoy that roller coaster.